Now let's look at the Z-Sphere section under the Geometry tab. Z-Sphere to Curve converts your Z-Spheres into a curve and it saves it into memory. So if I press Z-Sphere to Curve, now I got it saved into memory. And if I go to another mesh and I press Paste, well, it can only paste on PolyMesh 3D Geometry. So I need to make this mesh a PolyMesh 3D mesh. Now if I press Paste, my curve is right there if you can see it. Let me just move this away from there. There is my curve, which is based on the Z-spheres that we had. There we go. Now if I, I can just select the curve brush and when I press it, I get that curve. When it's safe into memory, you can go to any other mesh and as long as it's a poly mesh 3D, you can keep pasting that curve elsewhere. Now, if you copy, uh, if you do a Z-sphere to curve on something that was created with, with um, symmetry like this, or something that has ramifications, then it will only grab the first child of Z-sphere 0. Z-sphere 0 is your first Z-sphere, so it should be the first, the one I have here in the center. So if I do a Z-sphere to curve here, it should just copy one of these ramifications. Now if you paste the curve where you already have one, it will delete this curve and paste the new curve. And the new curve is that geometry right there. As you can see, if I go back to my Z-sphere, it only grabbed this ramification right here. And for example, if I do have, let me just add some other stuff here. If I do have something like this, other ramifications coming out, it will just grab this bit here. It's not going to grab these bits that are coming out. For example, if I created this one first and then the rest of the ramification later, it's not going to grab the rest of the ramification. It only grabs the first uh, ramification. So if I just uh, do a Z-sphere to curve here and go back where I add that curve here and now I paste, I paste exactly the same thing because the other ramifications were created after. So this Z-sphere to curve, it's really good for cables and things like that. Now Z-sphere to geo is meant to create geometry between Z-spheres and the note bar is really your friend here as it will give you instructions, step-by-step -step instructions on what the steps are. When you press Z-Sphere to Geo, you get a message here, click on a Z-Sphere to add the first chain. You need to click first on the end of a chain and right here we have a chain, right here you have another chain and another and so on. If you press on a Z-Sphere that is not the end of the chain, you get this message, please select the end of a chain first. So you can select a chain as so and make sure you click on the z-sphere don't click on a bone like this because then you get this message could not select z-sphere please click on the z-sphere so if i now click on the z-sphere i get a green message as soon as i get the green message saying that two chains were added here i can keep adding chains or i can just press z-sphere to geo and that will ge generate geometry in between those two chains so if i just come down here and delete this for now now let's do the old wing for this dragon so i press z-sphere to geo press this one press this one chains added two i'll press this one three chains. You might want to use the mouse for this. A bit more accurate. Just zoom in on this. And I'll place the chest here and Z-Sphere to Geo. Okay, and that generates a wing as we see here. Now we have a wing there. Keep in mind this is double-sided geometry. So if I just click here, I'll turn my polyframe on. Notice that there looks like some edges are missing. This is because this is double -sided. we're looking at double-sided geometry and some faces might be flipped. So if you come down to display properties and you turn off double, you can see that some faces are flipped. So a way we can fix this is if I press B, Z, M for my Z modeler brush and I over a face and choose flip faces. I can go to the side that has less flip faces and I can start flipping these faces. And I'm just going to zoom in here and control shift alt Z just to solo this. Okay, now that all my faces have been flipped, I can come here to my thickness 
and leave it the direction of zero maybe increase my thickness a little bit create some thickness for that wing and we have a wing then I can just go to geometry here and do a modified topology mirror and weld and I got two wings here if you press this sphere to geo and you want to cancel it out you can just press it again and you get a, a little message here saying not enough chains added operation canceled there are situations where these might not work for example if i do a z sphere to geo here and i click this one and click this one you get sorry incompatible chain if this happens just try a, a previous z sphere so i'm just gonna do the chest again like i did before and that will create some geometry and now you can use faces and faces creates a face at a time so if you press faces and you do a z-sphere to geo click on a z-sphere to add the first point so i can click on this guy and then my second point so i have one point add two more points for a triangle or three for a quadrangle so i can click this one add one more point for a triangle i'm going to click this one and then when you get the, the yellow message you can click the first point and you get the triangle or you can add one more point for a quadrangle. I'm just gonna keep, click this one to close it. And when you get the green message, you can press Z-Sphere to Geo and it will create a face right there. Now let's try a quadrangle. So if I now come here and press Z-Sphere to Geo, I'll actually do two quadrangles. I'll press this one, press this one, this one, and this one and then I'll close first face added I can press this for to geo and that will create a quadrangle there or I can keep adding faces so I want another face from here to here to here and to here and then click the first point to close that now I have two faces added and I'll press this here to Geo and I got my two faces right there. This is the same thing, it comes out as double. So you need to check in display properties to make sure if those faces are flipped or not. So if I come here, display properties, turn off double. Okay, they're facing the other way, but they're facing that they're both facing the same way, so I can just go and do a thickness here and I get some cool geometry. Now this skin option will generate two types two types of uh, geometry. I press here this for the geo, click the end of this chain and click the beginning of the chain. Now when I press it again, we get the Z spheres, the skin, and we get the geometry that's in between. We also get a separate tool here, which is the Z sphere geo, and that's if you didn't have skin on. So yes, skin creates a separate piece of geometry like that, that might suit your needs. Now for this last option, change Z-Sphere parent. So if I press this, I enter Z-Sphere parent mode and I get click on the parent on the note bar. So if I click on this first one and then I click on any of these Z-Spheres, they will get parented to that first one I clicked. So to exit the mode, I, I have to press the button again. And if I do a control Z, that will undo that operation. So control Z again. If for example, I come here and I say that this will be the parent, I can parent other Z spheres to it, as you can see here, but I cannot parent anything from his parent chain. So if I press on this one, this Z sphere is part of the selected parent parents chain and it cannot be assigned same as this one and same as this first one the first one cannot be parented to anything because it's the z-sphere the first z-sphere but all the other ones can be parented there so this can be quite handy when you're trying to change how your z-spheres are parented